my god wow what's the crack lads we are back with a banger of a vid today i'm going to be showing you an xp glitch it's not really a glitch but it is a really cool tutorial and the fastest way to currently rank up your players now we're going to show you here it's very very simple i've done videos on this in the past before but it's even quicker now with the new managers. Now you can still do it with Gasparini and Guardiola and the standard GP managers, but for this we're going to be going to my league and we are going to be using the four time multiplier. So this is going to be a four time multiplier in the my league items from the my league point shop. We're going to be going in here and we're going to simply navigate down. If you don't have enough my points to score or my league items to do this or my league points, you can earn that very easily. Now we're going to have four time multiplier on the XP that we earn. Once we've that done, we are going to go in and create a brand new squad, right? You will see here that we have a brand new squad. The squads are separated from Dream Team win within my league, right? And we are going to be using one of the new managers. So you'll see here that all different managers have different coaching affinity and different experience boosts. We're going to be focusing on Martinez and Southgate. Southgate gives a whopping 400% to all midfield players. So any card that's a midfielder, you're going to get a 400% increase and a 400% XP boost just by playing midfielders. It doesn't matter if you win, lose, or draw the games in my league. And we're also gonna be showing you a little trick to maximize that as you saw at the start of the video as well. Now, once we get to this screen, it's very easy. We are just gonna be sorting our team and picking 11 midfield players. We are gonna be picking goalkeepers as midfielders. We're gonna be throwing midfielders left midfield, right back, center forward everywhere we're just going to be filling our squad with midfielders that have not been leveled up yet now you can use any of your legends Messi, Griezmann any of the top ranked players that you have you can actually use this as well but what we're going to be doing is filtering all of these and making sure that their every card is a midfielder so no right back left back center backs or forwards we'll get to that in a second when we switch manager but for now we're using Southgate which I think is another reason why Southgate is going to be a beast we're also going to be using five star players because it just means that when you release the players if you're farming them as we're doing with this XP tutorial or you're trying to train up cards you want to train up your best cards and what we're doing from here is just basically putting in cards that still need to be trained up very handy if you're light on XP and I think that you're going to be even restricting the XP a little bit as we go into eFootball 2025 so it always is nice to have your cards maximized and again you're going to see here that Rabio is going to be starting off at level two we've got one upgrade on him or one extra level but the rest of the cards are going to be all level one and we're just going to skip on ahead of this and show you that as i said we're literally going to be putting fafana in goals we're going to put basilei up center forward we're going to be it, it, the positions don't matter the players don't matter the ratings don't matter nothing matters all we're doing with this is grinding xp in the quickest possible way and as i said you can use any players that you want if you want to train up the cards and use them and get them to their max level quickly or you want to do what we're doing in this video, you can you can kind of use it as XP guy uh, trainers, you know, that you can get them and then release them if you want to, or do it both ways. Also, a key in it, as I said, is with the four time multiplier, but it doesn't matter what match difficulty that you set. Now we're going to get into another extra hidden tip after this. It's about maybe a minute's time. So don't, uh, don't go anywhere. We'll get into that and maximize it even further. But once we go into this match, we're basically just going to score a goal. It doesn't really matter if you win, lose or draw, but you might as well on the amateur difficulty. Um, we're just going to score a goal here. We're going to pass the ball back to one of our players in our own half. And we're literally just not going to be touched for the entire game. The AI do not touch you from this you're essentially simming the games go in have a cup of tea you know watch netflix do a few push-ups whatever you want to do hoover the house with henry a few moments later but essentially when you have this and you complete the 90 minute match we are going to have everything done and dusted right now you're going to see a massive increase of 1900 percent on this you're going to be getting a big huge boost when we level up, you're going to see Shuamene there, McAllister, Vitinha. Every single player that we just started with is going to get a massive boost. And Shuamene with one game has gone from six levels. He's gone from level one to level six. Fafan has gone to level seven. Uh, Celso, Sabazalai, all of those have gone to level seven, right? Reader has gone to level eight. So it depends on how many XP it takes to get him through the levels. Now, for the extra tip on this, we are going to need to play about five matches in my league to get a key match, right? These matches trigger throughout my league, and we're also going to show you the difference between using midfielders, and we're also going to show you with Martinez who gives the boost. The same boost with Southgate, Southgate gives it to midfielders, Martinez is going to give it to defenders. So what are we going to do? We're simply going to swap out all our midfielders 
Instead of using midfielders, we're going to swap them out and use Martinez with defenders. It's the same practice, the same principles, everything still applies. And as I said, you've got Romero in goals. It doesn't matter what players that you use. Once you are using the manager, that gives you the boost to the position that you're using. So if it's forwards, midfielders or strikers, it doesn't matter. When we go into this, we're going to be locked on match level difficulty legend, but we're going to be getting extra experience points boosters that are going to, again, multiply with this. Also, hidden tip number two. If you transfer out your players or you sub out your players, five players can be transferred in or subbed in um, during the match. I usually do it in the second half in case you forget, and then you can just sim the rest of the game. Now with the match level difficulty and the special key match, look at the increase in this. You're talking nearly 5,000% of a bonus. Davies, Maguire, all of these guys have gone up to level 10 after one game. You've got 18 progression points. Very handy if you want to test out players or just trade them up effectively without wasting any XP trainers on cards that you might not even end up using. It's difficult, you know, to have a lot of XP if you play the game a lot. You know, unless you're getting the XP and you're des deciding to do this, it can be difficult to do it. But that is it, lads. A massive amount of, of, of overall bonus there. You're going to be getting nearly 7,000 XP with the special match. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to smash that like button. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. You know where we are. Daily content, three streams a week. Having the crack. Let's go.